Hey guys, this is Fiend Friday 91, and I did a video some along the titles of top 10 from last gen, and it had to do with the top 10 things that the Wii, Xbox 360, and PS3 generation gave us before moving on to the Xbox One, PS4, and the Wii U, right? Now, this time I got a top five list. Once again, I think some of the biggest impacts that the last generation gave us. Now, before I start this time though, I gotta say, the Switch does not count. Technically the Wii U is in the Xbox One and PS4 generation. Anything that the Switch brought, like the whole hybrid console, no, that can't count in this list. This is the Wii U, the Xbox One, and the PS5 list. Anyway, let's get started here with number five, getting rid of motion. This is kind of ironic because motion controls, I believe were at least part of my top 10 from last gen for the Xbox 360, Wii, and PS3 era, right? But let's face it, with the Xbox One and the PS4, yes, the Wii U still held motion controls for a good amount of its games, but with the Xbox One and the PS4, they kind of got rid of the whole, like, Xbox tried with the whole Kinect had to be bought with the console first, but then they got rid of that, and PS4 just really didn't do it for the move, in my opinion. Based on what I saw last generation, the PS4 just did not really try. Sony was kind of like, yeah, no really. They kind of moved straight to VR, I guess, and I think they use the move technology for VR. But motion stuff in general kind of became secondary. There weren't much motion games and stuff like that after a while in this generation. We use it with VR now, but that's basically the only reason you would get into any type of motion controls. While the PS3 and the Xbox 360 tried to catch up with the Wii when it came to motion controls in that generation, the fad kind of died off. I'm not saying that they've gotten rid of motion, especially since they've been using it for VR, but it's not the same level I believe it was during the Wii's generation. And speaking of VR, that's the next number four, VR. Yep, the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Wii U generation, even though the Wii U didn't really take part in that, VR was a thing. You had the PS4 VR, VR became a real thing. And yes, it's not to the point where I think they want it to be, like it's not a massive thing, but it's there and it's, I believe it's growing. I mean, you already have Jurassic World VR now. And I really think that VR, even though it's probably gonna be more prominent in this generation, I really think that it really started to gain prominence with consoles in the PS4 and Xbox One generation. So VR definitely was a big thing that got added and we'll see where it goes. Also, yes, I know that Nintendo tried VR way back in the day, but yeah, I'm not even counting that really. And number three, mobile slash cloud gaming. Now what I mean here, I'm not talking about mobile gaming, you know, like Angry Birds and stuff like that. People on mobile actually got, in some cases, AAA games. Like with Fortnite, you actually had people playing games with other gamers on their phones. You actually had people playing like real games on their phones. No longer just Angry Birds and stuff like that. No, they were playing like console games on their phone. And it got added to it when cloud gaming came in there, like Project X Cloud, when all of a sudden you can play actual console games. Like with, with Project X Cloud, you play the Xbox Game Pass games, I believe, on your mobile devices. So that's a big thing because I think that opens the door for people who like basically just play on their phone to actually play or people who game on consoles and PCs. And it actually really, I think, spreads out the market more because if you have these mobile people being like, okay, I can play AAA games on my phone using like Project X Cloud or whatever else, then they are actually gonna get into the, I, I think that just really broadens the whole marketplace for games. And number two, we're getting to some of the bigger impacts in my opinion here, Battle Royale. Now, some of y'all may not like Battle Royale, but you can't deny that last generation was the generation that Battle Royale really became prominent. You had PUBG, then you had Fortnite, then you had some lesser known ones, I wanna say. I think like lesser known ones, right? But then, all of a sudden, Battle Royale had to be the thing. Battlefield has it, Call of Duty has it, then you had ones like Spellbreakers and stuff come out. My, my point is that Battle Royale became a real big, big thing in the last generation. Basically, it seemed like a lot of games that could do it, wanted to do it. I mean, Call of Duty offers their Warzone, which is their Battle Royale mode, for free. For free. And at one point, it had like 75 million players. So, Battle Royale really became a big thing last generation. And that's something that I think we'll be moving on to this generation. Like, I think that Battle Royale gaming will become 
much more popular. It will probably become much more big, like with the amount of people that can be on the maps and stuff like that. But last generation, that's really when Battle Royale started to become a big thing. And number one. Now this came in more or less, at least prominently, during the end of the generation. But it still belongs on the list as the number one, I believe, because I think this is the biggest thing that is going to affect this generation. And that is cross-platform play. Now, why do I think that's the biggest thing? Because I believe people who play games, right? Let's just think of the future. Kids who didn't own the Xbox One, let's say the PS5 or whatever. That's their first console, right? I believe eventually cross-platform play will become like second nature or whatever you call it when something just becomes normal. Like, I believe that maybe 10, 15, maybe even earlier years from now, certain gamers won't even remember like oh back when i couldn't play with people on third party games who didn't own the same console i did i think that will become a thing of the past like like future people who play video games will be like wait a minute y'all didn't used to be able to play with your friends who had a sony console if you guys had a microsoft console what type of foolishness is that like like it'll be so normal this generation i believe because of it coming into play last generation. So I really think cross-platform play is the biggest thing that came last generation that's gonna impact the future of gaming because I really do believe, I don't know, only God knows, but I really do believe that eventually cross-platform play will become so normal that people who didn't play the older games and stuff won't even realize the whole, I bought a console so I could play with my friends. They won't even know that as a reason for buying the console. Unless, of course, they're talking about first party games. They're talking about third party games. What, what they could be saying to us? Okay, Boomer. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I think. Anyway, that's my top five things from last gen. Why don't you guys list me some of your favorite or things that you would think impacted last generation the most in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.